Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, good morning, Mixie ladies. There we go. We're uh, out of sync this morning. We've got Facebook on here. Instagram's just coming in live to us. Good morning, ladies. And good morning, Mixie ladies, if you missed my greeting earlier. Um, you've done your homework, which is really good. I'm really, really pleased to see that. Uh, Debbie Clear, Janine Hudson, Diane stay online because we're going to attack all your comments um, about what you're looking for right now. Chances are there are women out there looking for exactly the same thing at this moment in time. It's going to help you with that. Um, there may be a clue of what I'm wearing and what we're going to chat about. Uh, before I do that, though, just uh, have pop up on our social feeds that Willow Shoes lo- um, that, that cater for the longer sizes. If you're a 42 to a 46 size um, foot, slightly longer foot, Willow Shoes have got a pop-up in Cambridge. I don't know for how long it is, but go and find out the deets. Um, but it sounds like they're there already. So mm. maybe it's over the weekend, mm. I would have thought. So. Uh, but don't take my word for it. Go and check out Willow Shoes. Um, that, again, they're longer sizes, 43, uh, sorry, 42 to a 46. Um, and there are a few minutes in there by some of the boxes that we saw on the little photo there. Alrighty, let's crack into the requests of the day. Um, let's start with um, uh, Janine. She has said, I'm looking for a stylish low heel boot uh, to wear this winter. Of which we have plenty, um, and we're going to kind of race through like, a few options for you. Um, it, it's interesting, I wonder if, and we I needed to have done this before I came on live, um, whether we've got some kind of searching tool that helps with boots. Like when you go through our website, do we have a style tool? No, no. It's kind of just boots. Just the under boots. Just the it wouldn't be under boots. Yeah, but we can, defi- we can definitely, we can definitely do that. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's a good thing to add in a uh, a low boot or a, you know, right. short Being boot, right. yeah, long boot. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. Uh, anywho, so uh, let's crack away. I actually raced out and, and um, the girls suggested I put this boot on. Uh, this is Sequoia. It's a new last. It's a new uh, design. And I was a bit like, oh, it's quite conservative. And then I put it on, and I was like, oh, it's quite stylish. I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really, really good. It's a micro stretch suede upper. Um, it's a very, very high quality uh, double layered stretch. So um, it's nice and strong. So it gives you really beautiful ankle fit. I'm going to just go like that to show you my yammy legs. Oh, look okay. at dirty. That cat must have like smooched up against me this morning. On the... uh, so look at this. It's like a, it's actually got all that stretch in through there which is really really lovely you can see the stitching lines here which um this part is all lined with leather uh what i also want to point out is the matching ring detail against the sole is the suede of the upper so it's quite a sophisticated finished look uh, and then you've got that beautiful inside um minxy zipper to get in and out of that and a really unoffensive highly polished um leather stack heel on it very manageable heel height I would say excellent for um, a, a corporate lady uh, working in banks, la, la, la. Oh, here we go. My worthy assistant uh, has brought you the talk to show you what it looks like in, um, in the other colour there. You really notice that brand detail. That yeah, you do. And it just we're talking about this detail here. It just adds another layer of finishing to the boot, um, which is quite sophisticated and stylish. Hey, if you like the idea of this kind of boot... Uh, the ankle boot, um, that is a stretch. I'm going to show you the Eden boot, which we have sold tremendously well. Um, and Kirsten's got those on for you at the oh. moment. So actually, can I, I don't know if I can get up to the other colours. So we'll show, we'll profile Kirsten first. Sorry, I took the light of the towel there just for a second. Um, so you can see it's got that blocky heel. We're calling this the glass Cinderella heel. Uh, so it's got that beautiful smoky tone. Um, a see-through kind of um, look to the back of the heel. Quite a futuristic look and very, very edgy and cool with that very sharp uh, looking point and through mm. the toe. Um, Kirsten will tell you that the, this, the point is not taking any fitting out of this Yeah, last. I was just going to say, even though it's pointed, it, like you, there's plenty of room and uh, it's that nice stop, soft, stretchy feeling in there. Yeah, yeah. So again, a lovely little work option for you um, and with the attitude of that heel, if we just turn and show the ladies the heel. Um, and then again, it has it's a stretch suede, so it has that lovely inside zipper to get in and out of it. Um, and you're getting a really nice ankle fit on these mm. when they're stretch suede. And really just gorgeous and light. 
Yes, yeah, light, yeah. soft. Mm. Yeah, uh, you're in a thirty-eight in that. Thirty-eight. Yeah, yep. and they've yeah they feel they have got a nice amount of room in these. Fabulous. Mm. Right, we're going to take you on a journey up. Um, sorry, the girls are doing these spots this morning. Um, <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. going on in Dutch? Uh, so I uh, just want to highlight the colours at the top there, beautiful, beautiful forest green and then the inky navy blue, all paired back with, um, with, what do you call it when there's kind of like that, um, it's sort of transparent but it's got the hint of the upper colour in it, so it's like a green perspex Cinderella heel. If we come down here, you've got the top, um, which is slightly lighter shade, the beautiful candy pink and the black. Uh, now ladies, we have nearly sold out of this little booty in um, the colours, um, but there are all your favourite retailers are listed of what exact colours they have got in that Eden boot. Uh, it was a hot seller as soon as it arrived and great for this time of the year because of that suede vibe to it. Uh, there, is, there are longer versions in it too, which you'll see behind me. Um, if you're thinking, actually, I don't really want the ankle, I want to go a bit underneath, and then you're thinking, actually, <laughs> I really want to show my husband I care. Um, <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, I, you can go up to the thigh high version of that, um, which is pretty racy. Um, I'm excited to get into winter to show you how to style the thigh high. Um, so I think I might, even though I'm getting a bit older, I think I might still be able to rock it. You might go and make it. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Fun. Uh, so Janine, let's just carry on. Uh, we're going to just race over some of these styles because you have seen them before. Uh, so Ryder definitely is um, a low-heeled um, little dress boot uh, for work and things. Uh, if you're wanting chunkier, you can go down into this area here. So it was a bit of a vague brief, but um, we'll carry on. We'll, we'll keep backing up down here. Um, so, la 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 la, a dressy boot here. I believe the girls are shooting this. Or sh did you do some photography of that? And the beautiful gold there. It's a lovely dress boot. Not as high on um, the leg uh, and, and on the, yeah. Uh, not as high in the heel height of the sole. Um, and then we're looking now at Style Savvy. So Kirsten's put that on for you. Um, Style Savvy is backed by popular demand. So every now and again we get some requests from um, our from you ladies actually, and also retailers. Uh, we are missing we're missing your beautiful little um, rubber sole shoe. This is our own branded sole. It's got that little plate in through the back there with the little stud details on it, kind of squared off. Um, this upper is a combination of elastic and leather working together to get the fit right over the foot. Um, it's quite a cool little look. There's no inside zipper, so we will show you the inside. It has a matching elastic on it. So it's kind of a edgy, new vibe to a gusset mm. uh, job for type boot. I will say as well, I tried the 38 and the 39 on the other day. I've got the 38 on at the moment because that's all we had. Um, still easy to pull on. I would personally go up to a 39 probably to wear a sock and yeah. winter because I can feel my toes at quite the end. But yeah. but even in the 38, it was still easy to pull yeah, on. Yeah, I, I think I would probably on. classify um, from this last as more of a slim-fitting last. Um, mm. We certainly sell a lot of this... Uh, style of products still up into the full collection of this sold full, fully up into Canada. So ladies, if you've missed seeing it in our collection the past couple of winters, I'm sure there's a few Canadian retailers. Mel Palmer wants to know what other colours, please. Uh, good, good question, Mel. You girls are on the ball this morning. Uh, so here we are. We've got a beautiful uh, inky navy in it, which is absolutely gorgeous. You can see that against the black uh, skirt mm, of Kirsten's, just like to show you how stretchy that is. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. So nice to have that back in the collection. Uh, we're also going to keep you wandering down the shelves here. We've, oh, we should be taking this out. That looks a bit um, You can see there the one of our wellness boots, the Ryland boot, um, is that low ankle boot height. Um, you can see it there in the black. Um, there. So it's got all that uh, inbuilt um, arch support and things like that in it. Um, what else is also looking at down here? If you wanted to go a little bit um, more casual, um, but still quite edgy and cool, um, this is our gatherer gather boot, which I have a pair of these, and I can vouch for the comfort of those. A few ladies have worn the Bite Max loafer. We're just about to talk about loafers. If you've worn the Bite Max loafer before, um, you'll love that. You'll love the feel of that. 
Uh, right, we're taking you all over the place. So let's crank on with. Oh, actually, I've got a boot on that I need to talk about. Yeah, one more. Yeah. Um, this is Style Dale. She's a 39. Uh, I've got a 38 on, sorry. Um, because we sold out of the 37, I think. This is the old gold colour. Um, lovely rubber outsole on this, very new edgy kind of toe shape and outsole look to this and it's giving you that monk shoe which is that loafer wrap around look there uh, inside a zipper. So I'm just going to bring you ladies back up again and we're going to just look at the other styles on this you know, peek through here when we go down here. So I forgot about Millie which has been an absolute hot favourite when it was first launched a couple of weeks ago. Um, to get inspiration on how to wear this, I would go on to Repertoire's website. They've done a lot of marketing around this gorgeous boot. Uh, there it is in red. Again, you'll be seeing a lot of red coming through with clothing designers throughout the country for this time of the year. So if you are searching for a red um, as your accent colour uh, and you want to do it in your accessory rather than your garment, this is a really good option. Um, ankle boots, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Mm -hmm. um, a, legacy? Yep, Legacy, PQ, and then Style Downtown, which is that very edgy, cool, grungy look there. So it kind of covers off, I think. Yep. But, oh, and Spice, you've got this on. Grace and I both have it on. Oh, you both have it on. <laughs> I'm going to get you the red colour because we happen to get a little bit more red in, which is very, very lucky. Um, love this kind of grungy look. Both girls have got it on. If I could flip you right around now, I would. You can stick your toe. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the girls love this boat. Very, very cool. Very elevated. You feel quite confident in it. Yes, it's very true, actually. Yeah. Perfect. Right, so let's just uh, circle back to our other. Oh, there's also that one. Uh, oh, uh. Excel, excel, sorry. Um, let's show you an eye rating mix up the colours here. So this is an axle boot available also in navy and the black. Uh, again, playing to that jogger kind of vibe with the elastic gusset on the inside, uh, on the outside, and then on the inside you've got the zipper, and then on the back you've got this really cool little luggy tag there. Very cute little look actually this boot, and it's on your clash sole, which is nice and light. You know this last ladies, it's really really comfortable uh, for everyday wear. All right, let's move on to uh, Dino. Sorry, Di, um, for taking so long. You were talking about black loafers and um, your suggestions for black loafers. Um, we've got one I'm just pointing at Renee because she's got two different types on, so I need to see so we a lovely customer here. <laughs> so, sorry, she's been very patient with us. Uh, so, Renee has gone, you're going to love what she's wearing today. Um, and I love that dye, actually, to talk about black loafers. So, um, because it's, look at these pink pants that Renee came in today. Um, love the satin vibe mm -hmm. back with the dressiness of the uh, patents you've got on. Yeah. So, Di said, black patent, leather loafers, please, what have you got? Uh, so here's a couple of options for you, Di. I think they're pretty smashing. Mm -hmm. um, let's start with, which one do you want to start with? Aspen. Aspen, uh, part of our wellness range. Uh, beautiful inbuilt uh, arch support in this. Um, you've got that multi-layer of insole. You can choose to, to keep it in and take it out. Mm -hmm. um, but, of course, what I love about this, and I love it when you drop your pant down, is that you, you've got that pop of pink. That, that luxe, highly tailored look of the loafer mm -hmm. in the black with that little pop of pink coming out and then peer back with those trousers, amazing. Equally, ladies, don't be put off. Oh my gosh, I need to go now and get pink pants as well. This looks amazing just with a black pant as well. It's mm -hmm. uh, only a, a very minimal mm. bit of pink mm. that, that comes out there. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, and then by contrast, the all over black is style Empire. Uh, this has got that wonderful embellishment uh, trim on the front there, uh, which is all that filigree there, really, really lovely. Um, you've got, right, real juxtaposition of a really grungy heel on this. So we'll just show you the detail on the heel, a real sporty, grungy, heavy kind of solid heel. And then you've got all the lightness and the prettiness of the toe shape and that very feminine trim on it. Mm -hmm. um, so that is your black patent brief there as well in mm -hmm. a loafer. Um, we've got another loafer waiting in the wings here, another two. We've got the Clash loafer, which I don't know whether that's a... Uh, not, not Clash, 36. it's a heartbeat. I could try and whip my foot into a 36. Yeah. And we've got also uh, Kirsten in her own, Holub's own, uh, little maple, maple loafers. 
this for yep. the past few weeks. So this is your black oil leather, lovely old gold bit trim on there, little Gucci trim on it. Uh, what I love about this loafer is that it's a slightly finer toe shape, mm -hmm. but it still has a slightly kind of wedgy, grungy feel to it. So if you look at the side profile of the sole, it's a slight little bit of a wedgeness to it. Um, and then the little lugs on the sole there with that ran detail. Uh, really, really beautiful little shoe. Uh, also available in Lovely. khaki. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Uh, so we're going to do that. I'm going to get you to grab some Presley for the ladies. Um, I just had a question from Melanie about yeah. the fit of the Empire, please. Oh, yes. Can we talk about the fit of the Empire yes. now you've taken them off? Oh, oh, yeah. No. Um, no. Uh, Sorry. 41. Oh, yeah, I'll get me 41 in. Uh, so the Empire is the shoe here that we're talking about. Um, and Renee has quite a high instep. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, the only way to keep you into a loafer is it does need to be firm mm. over that instep. So you were in a size... 41. 41. Mm -hmm. And it was, okay. yeah, it was firm. It was firm on my bigger foot. Um, but I can imagine it, like, just having it on, it softened. Um, I think, yeah, it, yeah. So on the cast... Feet. There's, There's enough, enough length in there, it's yep. just that a whole that um, in step But I got, in. I got into it, you just, yeah. just got to take your time. And once yeah. it's on, it did feel firm across here, um, but I know that from, you know, yeah, hearing them that they soften mm -hmm. after a while, so I think it would be fine. It would yeah. settle down. Yeah, and the same down. in the Aspen. Uh, oh, yeah. In yeah. the 41 in the Aspen. So that's your uh, lovely little yeah. Empire colours there. Uh, so we've got... I've put my foot into a 36, ladies, and I'm <laughs> normally 37. Uh, so it's feeling quite restricted. Um, this is your heartbeat, mm -hmm. and that is a black oil leather. So the difference between oil and patent, uh, patent has a film covering over the leather that is a um, like a, a sheen uh, film, and then the oil has the actual finish has been highly buffed. Uh, to create uh, a, a in-between black man pattern. Yeah, we had a customer to yesterday ask if patent leather is actually leather. Yes, patent leather has a leather base and it has a, a correction film over the top of it, which is highly, uh, it's like almost like a, um, uh, for lack of better words, I'm going to say anyone's going to be mortified, but it's like a painted picture of like if you put cling film over the top of leather, it's giving you that kind of finish, although it's not off, but it is that kind of, same kind of description. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Melanie says, I have a high end step also, thank you. Oh, yeah. oh okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Um, pay to try it. Yeah, pay um, to try it, yeah. Just always remember, ladies, if you're buying uh, through us or online, we can swap, swap them out for mm -hmm. food and or refund should you need to, um, if you get them back within seven days. So it's always good to, if you can't get to a store, the store's not here. Robin says it must be like working in a candy shop, stunning shoes. Oh, okay. Thanks, Robin. Uh, we're still talking about uh, the dye. We're yep. still talking about black loafers. So um, here we go. Here's black, black, black. This is your style Presley. Um, we have done this in really cool colours like candy pink and red uh, combination, black and white combination. Uh, but this is your pure black combination. So the cut of the style, uh, the design of the style has to do the talking for the style. Um, sophisticated um, moccasin sort of top line on it. Very simple, neatly clean cut out um, tab uh, trim on the front of it. And then a little bit of stitching in through the rand and a very soft sole underfoot. Mm -hmm. Yep, they are smunchy. They are so nice and smunchy. I just oh. slip those on and they feel amazing. amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here's your other. Yeah. Oh, yes. as well, ladies, if you do yeah. want black, yeah. you could do the black and white, or you could do formalized yeah. colour. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now. comfortable. What were the other boxes we've got open? Oh, oh right, okay. So, uh, so Di, I feel like if we covered everything off the Di, probably we'd be good off the side. We'll realise, yeah. Um, looking around just quickly. Is it talking about loafers? Yeah. Well, well, then it's sort of like oh, fish marks. Yes, right, Max. Um, we've, although we've nearly sold out, but we will just show you one other. Uh, there are retailers with uh, the black bite marks still available in stock. I wish we had more ourselves. Um, so that is a lucky size 40. That's mm -hmm. square bite marks there. Uh, and the black, uh, that is a black uh, patent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, Debbie, Debbie Clear, if you're still watching, if you've suffered through my yibba yabba, um, you were wanting to know what size does Renee take in the rider boat? Really, really good question. Um, this is a beautiful, longer-fitting boot. It's a, a generous fit in the boot. Um, we have been advising ladies to go down a size. And Steph, if you're watching, 
Uh, I'm a designer, put you wrong. Uh, she phoned me on the weekend and said, oh, what would I, what size would I be? And I said, I'll stay here 40. Uh, she's come back and she said she had to go down a size. So I'm sorry, Steph, if you're watching. Um, so that's actually, she's a true to size 40 in just about everything. And she went down to the 39. So it's a little bit of feedback there. Um, so we're just dying to hear from Nay. She's got pretty good on there, Nay. 40. 40? Oh, 40. Yep. I thought I'll go, I'll go with the 40 first because I had these on the other day and thought, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 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 So, I think if I went to 41, my heel would slip when I walked. Yeah. Um, they are so soft. I mean, you can see my little nubby bit. Hey, little nubby guy. Um, there. But it's actually not uncomfortable at all. Yeah. It's really. They look great really with your outfit. So, I would, if, yeah, I would go with 40. You go 40 now? Yeah. If you had wide feet, go the I 41. would go with 41. Right. So if you were wider here than I am, and that was a kind of your troublesome point, I would go with 41. Yep. Mm. Great, great advice. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful boot. Yep. Um, boot. Just because you've got the pink on, we will celebrity bash again, and we will tell you that um, the pink boot... <laughs> We've got Tammy Nielsen, a true country singer, rocking around in these boots. So um, they've got a great appeal, they, these little boots, not only for the Western vibe of it, but also like it's a very stylish looking little one. Yeah, it is. Um, stylish looking little one to boot, yeah. Uh, right, I've done a lot of chatting this morning, ladies, and we've covered off a lot of different um, products and things. Is there anything else you want to raise or chat about? I do believe the girls are focusing. They did another amazing shoot. I only saw a tiny little snapshot of it. Um, they did a photo shoot on... What did you do a photo shoot yeah, on? Yeah, uh, some metallics and some workwear yeah, that isn't a sneaker. Yeah, yeah. And some tutus. And some tutus, yeah. Good reminder. It is becoming tutu season again. Um, with this kind of weather changing out a little bit too, where we are, I don't know, a bit of feminine and a bit of fun in the wind. Mm, so yeah, there was a little wind, wind, a lot of wind yesterday. Uh, all right, ladies, well, if you've got any more requests, send them through. Um, thanks for tuning in. And just to round up, Janine, Di and Deb, I hope that we've successfully covered up all the things that you wanted. Again, if you've got any requests that you'd like to see us follow through on, happy to do that for you. Let's uh, catch up again soon. Bye. Bye.